Good morning, friends. Here we are. Here you are. You made it to your graduation through probably one of the most difficult years any of us will live through. I, for one, am so proud of you, and I know that I am not alone. Wherever you are right now, know that all of us here at Guilford College are cheering you on. Commencement is both a ceremony of celebration to mark the end of your college career, but it is also a sign of our love and support for you. I hope that in all we do today to celebrate, you feel that love. Therefore, as we gather to celebrate each of you, let's first stop, take a deep breath, and relax into this moment. Breathe in its beauty, its complexity, and give thanks for what is before us. Let's take a deep breath. As we begin the ceremony, gathered wherever you are, as the college community who loves you, we offer affirmation and gratitude for each and every one of you. As we say each and every one of your names, my hope is that you experience that as a prayer and a blessing for you. May you find your place in the living and abundant stream that we call the Guilford family. May the light you bear within remind you of the compassion and love you are called to. May the gifts you carry with you be used to help build a just and more equitable world, a beloved community. May love guide you in the days and years to come. And as we join together for a moment of silence, may our hearts be filled with this simple prayer. For all that has been, we give thanks. For all that shall be, we say yes. Join me in a moment of silence. Thank you, friends. What a year this has been at Guilford College. What a year around the entire globe. The disappointments we've experienced, the losses, the losses we were not able to commemorate, the isolation, the fear, the disappointment, the unknowing. For Guilford as a community, in part because our Quaker heritage inspires us to honor each and every one, the hurt and anger have been at times particularly acute. But we are emerging from the year of sorrows, and this graduation signals a special moment in that joyful metamorphosis. Graduation is always bittersweet, a beauty tinged with sadness, at which we celebrate departure. I'm sad that you students are leaving us, but I am overjoyed knowing that you are launching yourselves out into a world of rich possibilities, having been nurtured in Guilford's Quaker-grounded, practical liberal arts education. You have developed habits of mind and heart that will help you achieve successful careers and lives by which the world can become a more just, peaceable, and sustainable place. And you have now joined the throng of worldwide Guilford alums. So, goodbye and welcome all at the same time. My sincerest congratulations to you students, your families, and friends for achieving this milestone, especially at such an incredible time. And my deepest thanks to our faculty, administrators, and staff for your perseverance and careful guidance through this fire swamp of a year. May we all be richly blessed as we leave behind an ocean of troubles sailing forward into the ocean of light.
Since 2002, the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Foundation has authorized Guilford College to present awards in the Foundation's name, recognizing and honoring excellence of character and humanitarian service. Guilford is one of 70 colleges and universities in the South that grant this award, and each year it honors a representative of the, of the community and a student. This year's Community Award is presented to the Weaver Foundation of Greensboro. Since 1967, the Weaver Foundation, a benefactor of Guilford College, has been helping the greater Greensboro community enhance and improve the quality of life and economic environment of its citizens. Accepting for the foundation are the co-founder, Mike Weaver, and Catherine Weaver. Thank you so much for this glorious award. To start with, I have a daughter and a son-in-law that graduated from Guilford College. In 19, the mid-1960s, I was on this stage in Dana Auditorium with a Dr. Hobbs, your then president. We were hosting an event to build support for ending the war in Vietnam. Later, when Bill Rogers became president, he and I worked together first with the National Conference of Christians and Jews to promote racial harmony and inclusiveness. We became friends and then later worked on many other community activities. My father, back in the 50s, early 50s, I think, gave the land for the First Friends Church on Friendly Avenue. My personal ties to Guilford College spanned over 50 years. Every year has been delightful. As you can tell from Mike's remarks, the Weaver family and the Weaver Foundation and Guilford College share many of the same values. In recent times, the Weaver Foundation and Guilford College have both been working on food insecurity. Over 25% of Guilford County residents don't have enough food to eat. We're so impressed with Guilford's farm, its sustainable food systems major, and its mobile oasis program. The Weaver Foundation is honored to join the distinguished list of community recipients of Guilford's Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award. We're beyond proud to be associated with Guilford College, an institution that has had such a significant impact not only on its students, but also on our overall community since its founding almost 200 years ago. Thank you again for this wonderful award. This year's student award is presented to graduating senior and music major, Mo Ray. Mo is a native of Myanmar and he grew up in a refugee camp in Thailand. At Guilford, he has been a deeply committed Bonner Scholar with more than 1,700 hours teaching and mentoring younger musicians and immigrants. He will pursue a graduate degree at the UNC School of the Arts. Congratulations, Mo. I'm very pleased to be this year's student recipient of the Argonne Sydney Sullivan Award. Careful College welcomed me four years ago, and I have had amazing opportunities here. Studying, playing, and teaching music has created avenues for me to help others receive their educational dreams. I'm grateful for teachers, classmates, and family members, and friends who have inspired me. I'm proud of this award. Thank you. The testimonies of our students are the clearest evidence of the value of a Guilford College education. I have heard countless awe-inspiring stories from them during my time here. 
I encourage you to listen carefully to the words of Chariri Wei, lovingly known as Riri, an exceptional member of the class of 2021. Please join me in welcoming her at this time. During my time here at Guilford College, I found my light in the Justice and Policy Studies Department, Glen Haven, the Every Campus or Refuge Home, Tara's Office, and New Gardens Hall, just to say hi, how are you, and I miss you, to Antoinette. These are the very few places on campus that were special to me during my four years. They also offered me up community service, learning opportunity, on-campus experience, home away from home, and academic enrichment. I hope many of you have also found your lights during your time here and are able to carry and share that light wherever you may be. These places were especially important to me when I realized the Bonner House was no longer going to be a home for me. I remember walking into the Bonner House my first year and Jame and Susan welcomed me with love. I did not get a chance to share my last hug with Susan or to witness another funny thing James will do in the sunroom. The following year, my prayer house, the hut, was taken away. Then my last year at Guilford, James and Susan were fired from their position. The Bonner Scholarship Program was dismantled. Staff and faculty were cut, and even my major was in jeopardy. I was hopeless and close to a point where I was ready to move on and be gone from Guilford. However, the Bonner Center, my professors, my peers, and the relationships I had invested and built here were reminders to why I choose to pursue my education at Guilford. So the vibrant love and care I received from this community kept me here one semester after another, especially this semester. I am glad I did because despite this pandemic, this semester has taught me to be disciplined and be proactive by trying out new skills. How I am defining success and impact is not based on a piece of paper. As the first member of my family to go to four-year college, I beat the odds, stereotypes, and narratives about refugees, undocumented immigrants, low-income, or minoritized students. However, I know someone to be the best cook as a second-grade graduate, and the person who always does everything for me was an educator without a college degree and is loved by many former students. And I know we all learn some valuable skills here that will follow us into the next chapter of our life. My hope and aspirations for myself and for everyone is to not let our degree define our worth and to continue to let our light shine. So let's close this chapter together. Congratulations, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thanks to mom and dad for empowering me by sharing your light so I can continue to get my education. Dr. Jocelyn Bell Burnell is a British Quaker astrophysicist and is known for her 1967 discovery of pulsars, or collapsed stars, which opened a new branch of astrophysics and led to a Nobel Prize for her supervisor. In 2018, she was awarded the $3 million Breakthrough Prize in Fundamental Physics, which recognized not only her research, but her scientific leadership in the 50 years since her discovery. Jocelyn's commitment to accessible education for the less well-served complements Guilford's similar passion, and her position as a Quaker scientist places her in a long, impressive line of friends who have dedicated their lives to deepening our understanding of the created world. The continuing profundity and impact of your life's work and the college's core values are in perfect harmony here today. For your unwavering commitment to community, diversity, equality, excellence, integrity, justice, and stewardship, Guilford College is proud to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. Friends, please offer a warm Guilford welcome to our featured commencement speaker, Dr. Jocelyn Bell Burnell. Guilford College for this very great honour. I have happy memories of many visits to Guilford College and have something to show you as proof of it. 
I have a Guildford College mug. Still have it, still use it. Very useful, much appreciated. Thank you. I'd like to congratulate all those who have completed degrees and are going through commencement today as well. Often these are very happy occasions, but this year it's perhaps a little bit more muted as this is not quite the best of times, is it? I hope circumstances for each of you have not been too dreadful, but you can take pride in achieving your degrees in difficult circumstances. You have learnt quite a lot, I dare say, not only the subject material, but maybe also about yourself, about ways to work, about perseverance, independence, and that in spades, I suspect. Take time to recognise and articulate the qualities that you have developed during your time as an undergraduate at Guildford, over and above the subject material that you've done. As a pandemic graduate, to coin a phrase, you will have developed more than many of your peers in other years. Your faculty, your family, your friends have all played a part in your achievement, in keeping you going, in enabling you to keep working. They will be delighted to see you graduate, but do remember to thank them. But completing a degree is also a bit scary. I can still remember that heart in mouth moment when the day after I got my bachelor's degree, I set off to Cambridge to start a PhD. It was frankly scary. Can I do this? Am I being crazily ambitious? Am I mad? Maybe all of those. Leaving an environment you know and heading off into the unknown is always a bit scary, but it's one of the things one has to do in life probably several times over. It is important that you do take steps into the unknown from time to time. I'm sure it will turn out well. I hope you keep in touch with college. I hope you keep in touch with your classmates. And I wish you the very best of luck. And thank you once again for this opportunity to thank you for being part of the Guildford community.
with great joy that I recognize our honors graduates. Those graduating with high honors who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.7 or greater. Those graduating with honors who have achieved a cumulative grade point average between 3.5 and 3.69. Those graduating with departmental honors who have achieved a 3.5 grade point average in their major, including independent study and a research paper. And graduates of the honors program who have completed the honors curriculum maintained a high GPA, and successfully defended their senior thesis research this spring. Please join me in congratulating our honors graduates and recognizing their academic leadership throughout their time at Guilford. We will now call our graduates of the master's program in criminal justice. We will now call the class of 2020. the class of 2021.
President Jim Hood, I present to you the classes of 2020 and 2021. These students have completed all of the requirements for their respective degrees and have been confirmed by the faculty to receive the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, or Bachelor of Music from Guilford College. On the recommendation of the faculty of Guilford College and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees under Charter of the State of North Carolina, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree and grant you all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities hereto. You may now transfer your tassels. Welcome to the family of Guilford College graduates. Would everyone please join me in a round of applause for the class of 2020 and the class of 2021. As chair of the New Alumni Association Engagement Council, I am honored to represent Guilford College alumni and celebrate the classes of 2020 and 2021 today. Only four years ago, I was in your shoes graduating as an adult student. What's next was top of mind for me, as it may be for many of you. No matter where your next steps take you, Guilford and its community of faculty, staff, and alumni will always be here for you and rooting for your success. Commencement is a beginning, and today we celebrate not only your remarkable achievement, but also a new chapter in your life, an exciting new relationship with Guilford as an alum. You are among more than 25,000 alumni of the college, and with that comes both reward and responsibility. As an alum of Guilford, you possess a deeply valuable liberal arts education founded on the core values of the college. You have an opportunity to be trailblazers and change agents in your communities and in the world. The world needs Guilfordians more than ever. I encourage you to remain connected to Guilford, stay in touch with your peers, and support the college with your time and philanthropy. Your active involvement and your generosity builds connections with other alums, the college, and helps Guilford thrive. Graduates, be proud and know that you are prepared to do great things in this world. Congratulations. 
Now, wherever you are, if you are able, please stand for the alma mater performed by Guilford College Jazz Falcony. Sing along, the lyrics are on the screen.